repeatedly. And we're now hearing from a witness who heard those gunshots. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live with the latest on this developing story. Roy. That witness we spoke with also did everything she could to try and save this man's life. Unfortunately, by the time she got to him, it was just too late. Well, it is police who are now searching for that man's killer. It freaked me out. And Witnesses still shaken after describing the moment shots rang out outside of their offices near Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport Monday. And there were seven shots. And I looked out the door and, uh, and the, there were people from that office running across the street. Three gunshots. Then I heard another three gunshots. Tiffany, just one of many nearby employees to hear the gunfire. She said she rushed over to try and help the man she found lying on the ground who'd just been shot. And I was like, what if somebody got hurt? So I ran over to the person. He had blood coming out of his chest area and his head area. While Fort Lauderdale Police and Fire Rescue responded, the victim would ultimately die from his injuries. As we arrived, we could see his body covered with a blue tarp. Alongside it, this dark BMW riddled with bullets on the passenger side. From above in Sky 10, police seen quickly setting up a perimeter, searching for the person who shot and killed him and who witnesses said drove away just moments after the murder. It was a red sedan. I saw a red car and that was all that I saw pulling away. As investigators now work to find the gunman, it's nearby workers curious as to what may have led up to the fatal shooting. He was trying to say something, but nothing ever came out. And I did get a chance to speak with Fort Lauderdale Police. They tell us that right now they are trying to inform the family of the victim as to what happened here. Only then will they be able to release his name. Meanwhile, if you have any information that could help them, you're urged to give Broward Crime Stoppers a call. That number, 954-493-TIPS. For now in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Okay, Roy, thank you for that.